Welcome learners, so our lesson today we look at energy changes in physical and chemical process. We, we begin by looking at what is energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Then you look at the examples of energy, examples of the forms of energy, chemical energy, heat energy, kinetic energy, potential energy. Law of conservation of energy states that energy is never created or destroyed or is transformed from one form to another. Next to look at is uh, endothermic and exothermic reaction. We begin by looking at exothermic reaction definition. It's a process that is accompanied by production and release of heat to the surrounding. Examples of reactions, examples of exothermic reaction, combustion of fuels, e.g. boiling of charcoal, Displacement reaction, e.g. addition of zinc granules to copper sulfates. Neutralization reaction, e.g. addition of sodium hydroxide to diluted chloric acid. You can also have addition dissolving of sodium hydroxide or concentrated sulfuric acid in water. And others, temperature change during exothermic reaction. Temperature rises. For the reason, heat is released to the surrounding of the reaction taking place. Comparison of heat content of the reactants and products. Now, heat content in a chemical reaction is called enthalpy, denoted by H. Usually, heat content of the product is less than heat content of the reactants in exothermic reaction. Enthalpy change in exothermic reaction. A change in heat content is called enthalpy change, denoted by Delta H. Enthalpy change is given by heat content of the products minus heat content of the reactants. Therefore, as you mentioned earlier, that heat content of the products is less than heat content of the reactants, and enthalpy change is negative. Example carbon plus oxygen. RO, CO2, and delta H is negative 394 kilojoules per mole. Energy level diagram. is shown below. Example. Show present, represent the reaction below in an energy level diagram. Sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid, RO sodium chloride plus water, delta H, negative 7.2 kilojoule per mole the diagram is shown below now endothermic reaction definition is a process which is accompanied by absorption heat from the surrounding example of an endothermic reaction dissolving ammonium nitrate in water what is the temperature change in endothermic reaction temperature drop How does it connect the product and reactant compare in endothermic reaction? Heat content of the products is greater than heat content of the reactants. Therefore, enthalpy change becomes positive. For example, ammonium nitrate solids, RO, ammonium nitrate aqueous, delta H is plus 25.2 kilojoules per mole. Energy level diagram for endothermic reaction is shown below. An example show the following in an energy level diagram ammonium nitrate solid, RO, water, ammonium nitrate aqueous, delta H plus 25.2 kilojoules per mole. It is shown below. Now let's look at bond breaking and bond formation in physical processes. Now physical changes involve breaking and formation of intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are broken during melting and evaporation. Intermolecular forces are formed during freezing and condensation. The diagram below shows eating curve. That is a, a graph of temperature against time 
for water heated from ice to steam. So this is temperature against time on this side. This is a region A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is where you have the melting point of zero degrees Celsius. And this is where you have the, melt, the boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. Now I want to look at, from this graph, I want to look at the following things. We want to look at the physical state of each region. We want to look at the enthalpy change of the region, of the region BC and the region DE. Then we want to look at the process that occur in the region BC and region DE. We want to look at what happens in each of the region. So we begin by look at the physical states. Now in this region here, the physical state is solid. Here is solid to liquid, it is liquid, it is liquid to gas, and here is gas. And then the process that occur in the region BC at this point is melting. And then here evaporation occurs. Then <coughs> the enthalpy change in the region BC is called enthalpy fission. In the region DE is called enthalpy of vaporization. Now what happens in region AB? One, temperature rises steadily. Reason. Because ice particles absorb heat energy. Two, ice particles begin to vibrate in fixed positions. Reason. Due to increase in kinetic energy because some Heat energy is converted to kinetic energy. Then there is weakening of the force of attraction between ice particles. Reason due to vigorous vibrations between solid particles. Now region B C temperature remains constant. Reason heat energy supplied is used to break the force of attraction between ice particles. Region C D temperature rises steadily. Reason water molecules absorb heat energy. Water molecules vibrate more vigorously. Reason due to increase in kinetic energy because some heat energy is converted to kinetic energy. There is weakening of the force of attraction between water molecules. Reason due to vigorous vibrations between water molecules region de region de temperature remains constant reason heat energy supplied is used to break the force of attraction between water molecules to form steam Now, points to note, latent heat of fission is the amount of heat energy required to convert a given amount of solid substance to liquid at its melting point. Molar heat of fission is the amount of heat energy required to convert one mole of a solid substance at its melting point to liquid. Lat enthalpy latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy required to convert a given amount of liquid substance to gas at its boiling point. Molar heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy required to convert one mole of a liquid substance at its boiling point to its gaseous state. Now, note that the molar heat of vaporization is always greater than the molar heat of fission. Reasons. The intermolecular forces are broken when converting a liquid to gas are stronger than 
in converting a solid to liquid. Two. Particles are separated to a larger extent in converting liquid to gas, hence a lot of energy is required. Unlike when converting solid to liquids, where particles are separated to a smaller extent, hence less heat energy is required. Now, molar heat of fusion and molar heat of operation are used to determine the strength of intermolecular forces, i.e., the higher the value of molar heat of fusion and vaporization, the stronger the intermolecular force of attraction. Thank you, learners. In the next lesson, we look at bone breaking and bone formation in chemical processes.